If you're struggling with creating engaging videos on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube because you can't grab people's attention, well, in today's video, I'm going to show you free tools that turns text into video quickly, the best AI generators that make people say, how did you do that? And the best way to turn a still image into a very realistic video without any technical experience, no upfront investment, and the first video you can create in less than 60 seconds. I have found seven of the best AI generators and I'm not just gonna talk about them. For the next five hours, I'm going to test them and I'm going to rank them. And I'm saving the most popular for last, so let's begin with number one, Pika Labs. It's generating the video fully with AI. I haven't tested it out fully yet, so let's do it together. Now, all I'm gonna do is click on join beta. This is free for the public now. So we're gonna click on here and we need to go to Discord to check it out. Okay, we're now on the inside and I believe this works a lot like Midjourney. So let's try to create something ourselves. I'm gonna write slash create, click on this one and I'm gonna enter a prompt. We're gonna stick with the theme of a futuristic restaurant. So let's do the prompt, robot making a burger in futuristic kitchen. On this one, I'm really looking for the speed. Some of these AI generative tools takes a lot of time and I'll compare all the generation speeds. While we're at it, let's do some more. Oh, it actually just took around one minute and uh, let's see the prompt. Oh, a burger getting juiced up. No way. Slap a burger on there, juice it up and it looks so realistic. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try a futuristic car chase through New York City and I'm going to time it right now. That took exactly 58 seconds car chase. Let's check it out. Okay, lacking a bit of details in the car. Maybe if I specify it a little bit. Okay, here we got the Tesla video the way that this car changes color on the left and then we kind of get a close up. Well, this definitely looks like a Tesla, so it got that model right, but yeah, not perfect. I tried another prompt with humanoid robot flipping burgers and look at this. As you can see, it's trying to kind of grab the burgers and then just fly away. This almost looks like an image straight out of a movie. I wanna do this further, so let's try again. We got robot waiters serving burgers at a table. I should have specified him holding it, but this looks so cool. Apparently you can also select image and then upload an image. I'm gonna upload an image of myself and prompt man turning into robot. Let's see if this one takes longer. That was exactly 48 seconds. Let's check the results. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't turning into a robot, but this is freaky. Let me see if I can get these cars to drive. Okay, here is the result. As you can see, it kind of added this snowy filter to it, but the cars are actually driving. So Pika Labs has created some of the highest quality AI generated videos that I've seen. Specifically, the text to video was really good. The speed, ease of use at almost a 10. Customization is obviously really hard when it comes to prompting but I'm gonna give this a perfect A. I feel like I just need to get the prompting right and it's 100% free. And now a word from our sponsors. If you're editing videos, but you aren't using AI tools, you're missing out big time. This can save you hours of work for real. This tool deletes all the pauses, all the ahs and ums, but not only that, it also removes double takes. If you haven't done this before, let me show you. So first just go to veed.io. I'm just gonna upload a file. Now just go down to Magic Cut and click on Social Media Clip. And as you can see, a 20 minute video turned into 80 seconds of just the best part. But that's not even the best part. Just click on any of the video files and here you can see the Magic AI tools. And let me just show you this. Click on Eye Contact and now, as I'm 
looking at the screen here, this is the before and this is after. I'm literally reading from the screen, but my eyes just keep looking at the camera. And that's not all, folks. My favorite AI tool in Veed is subtitles and just click on auto transcribe. Make sure to add automatic highlighting and create subtitles. And just like that, you have text on it. I love doing this one word at a time for intros and my entire TikTok, I just put on this auto transcriber. You already know that it makes sense. If this video made you say, wow, or damn, at least once, you owe yourself to check it out. Go to vid.io using my special link in the description down below, and there's no catch. You can literally try a lot of these features starting for free. Thank you so much, vid.io, for sponsoring this section of the video. Number two. This, law. this is the only text to video AI generation tool that you can actually just go to the ChatGPT plugins and create a video directly within ChatGPT. I'm going to copy and paste my script right in here and then add the prompt, make a video and click on enter. Immediately, Visla will start working in the background and you can obviously create a script directly within ChatGPT itself and your video has been successfully created. So all I need to do is click on this link and it's processing a little bit, but very quick. Now let me show you the results. In the heart of New York City, a tech-centric restaurant, Tech Fusion, offers a unique dining experience where technology and good food intersect. One evening, Jake, a software developer, is led to his table by a robotic host and finds a touchscreen menu brimming with detailed descriptions and videos of each dish. He tries the AI recommend- Okay, right off the bat, there are a couple of things that I don't like. Now, I'm just going to click on save to edit and I need to enter a claim code that you'll find in ChatGPT. So it's right here. Enter it, save video. And now we can rank it on customization. So one of the issues was that this was way too long. To make this a lot better, I would split this in two. And it seems like we can just click on click new scene in the bottom right. I'm going to copy this text over to the new scene and then I can click on footage recommendation. And also, if you don't like the recommendations, you can actually do the footage recommendations. And here you have a bunch of things like, for example, this one, you can click and confirm. And now one I have this one in Snake, a software developer. I'm having some issues with the playback of the video. I think it will generate better when I click on preview. And I'm just going to copy and paste this one again with a new scene, add a footage recommendation. And you brimming with detailed description. Okay, it's working though. They also have audio that I could select a bunch of soundtracks that I could have, like Affirmations, Tokyo. It seems to me that they're using all the assets from Storyblocks. I'm a big fan of Storyblocks for stock media, like videos and music. They also have these AI voices here that are pretty basic. I would like for it to have an integration with Eleven Labs. So it's very much lacking in the AI voiceover. You can also click on style to change the format, square, vertical, scene backgrounds. And the last one, text to change the font, background, and everything like that. Visla is getting a B tier. There was a couple of times where it was bugging. If you're looking to turn a lot of text into video, this may be a good option for you. However, I do have my favorite at the end of this video, so stay in tuned for that. So a solid B tier. By the way, if you're liking the video, please subscribe to the channel. Also comment down below AI video and I will do more of these ranking AI software. All right, let's get to the next one. Number three, Genmo AI. As you can see, you can get 151 fuel today. I don't know how many fuel I need, but it's completely free to use. You can create new images, generate video, animate an image, or edit existing images. And I also saw down here that you can actually make 3D objects. So we're gonna test all of that out. Let's describe your video. A humanoid robot holding a plate full of burgers. And here we have it in the chat. It says, I'm thinking. And here the videos are running. Here are the results. It took about a minute to generate. I kind of like this one on the left. This one on the right seems like there's a house full of burgers. This is way better than I saw Genmo when I tested it before, but let's keep going. It seems like they can only generate about two seconds. And if you loop it, it becomes four seconds. And this is the prompt Tesla driving through New York City. It seems like they made all the taxis in New York like 
Tesla all of a sudden. And it definitely looks very grainy, very staticky. Here for the second creation, it seems like a high viewpoint that again is very grainy. And with four generations, I now have 129 fuel today, so you can definitely use it for a bit. Let's try to do the 3D generation. Viking man with an ax. And this was the result. I guess it's a pretty hard prompt to do. It tried, but yeah. Now let's test out the GIF animation tool. Here you can even set the duration for 10 seconds. I'm gonna keep dynamism and exploration on default and we need to select an image. Again, I'll do this image of me and it actually gave me a suggestion. I could try animating part of the image like making his hands move. Okay, just animate the arms. This was the result. I look way more freaky in the face and no hand movement really like just down here. I want to try on this image as well to get the cars to drive. So I'm going to prompt it, add motion to the cars. Here is the final result. Definitely didn't do what I was thinking it should do. And uh, yeah, it's not really usable. I think it's fair to say that the text to video part of this software was decent. The other features I couldn't get to work. It was also maximum two seconds of length. So this is the first C tier. Number four, Runway ML. I've seen some very good text to video with this. So let's just try it for free. As you can see, we have text to video, image to video. They also have a lot of generate images, edit images, remove background and things like that. So let's begin with text to video generation. And here you can see the price. Each second of video uses five credits and you currently have 31 credits. I believe you start with 50 on a new account. So let's start using Gen 2. Let's try the humanoid robot holding a plate full of burgers, walking through a restaurant. And I'm gonna do the free preview. So we get some alternatives that we can pick between. I love this feature. Okay, not bad. Let's test out this one. And this is the result. The smoothness of it is awesome. I mean, it's definitely creating more plates in his hands, but I guess that's what robots do, huh? Very, very impressive. Let's do the Tesla prompt again. And this is the result. Uh, it's not driving or at high speed. So this one didn't work out so well. What about Viking man chopping wood? Free preview. Yeah, I can already tell that this is too much for it. Let's do something easier. Bird flying over Tokyo. This one actually looks cool. Let's try that. Okay, let's check it out. It's actually getting the movement and the Parallax of the city. That's really impressive. Let's try an even easier one. I think this might come out perfect. I just wrote private jet flying, generate this one. Okay, let's check it out. It's flying backwards. <laughs> okay, just look at how the shine comes on the tip. This one I could easily use in a video and most people probably wouldn't even recognize. Damn, wow. I'm also gonna test out the new image to video that they have, and I've seen some crazy results with this. Look, I just have to upload an image. I'm gonna use this mid-journey image of a boy, and the trick is to not write anything here, cause then it really messes up everything, so just keep it blank, and then just click on generate, and look at this result. As you can see, is animated now. And the trick here, if you want to make it longer, go to the end of the video, then take a screenshot of the initial video. It's better if you download it so you don't get this bar in the bottom. And then you can just drag the next one, click on generate again, and you can make way longer, more than eight seconds we got now. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some examples here that are just insane. As you can see, all generated from still images and I can really see this getting used in movies and just becoming way better over time. Look, he, she's even walking towards a waterfall, robot being alive. Some of these almost look perfect. And the last thing I wanna check out is the video to video. So I'm just gonna drag one of my files in here. So yeah, this is just me sitting here at my desk. You could use an image as style reference. So basically transforming the style or just click the presets and you have all of these different styles that you can pick from. I'm gonna try the Android and you can select the style strength Let's put it at 80 and preview style. Okay, here are the previews looking kind of cool. The good part is that you can preview all of these styles right here and it's really quick. So find one you like before you start generating. So Runway by far had the best text to video. The image to video, this one deserves a solid 
S tier. Number five, Kyber AI. I've been very impressed by Kyber before, so we're just gonna click on create video. This is actually one that I'm paying for because I really like one of these features I'm gonna show you in a minute. However, you get a lot of credits to begin that takes you very far. You begin by uploading an image, transforming an existing video. You can add a soundtrack or just start writing a prompt. I'm gonna show you this first. As you can see, I want to create a video of humanoid robot holding a plate of burgers in the style of, and here you can select some of these styles they have here. And this changes the output drastically. We're gonna try the Meteora Graffiti, and you can also click on cinematic that gives all of this prompt, photorealistic. Actually, let's do that one. Then just click on video settings. Here you can select the video duration that can go all the way up to one minute. We're just gonna keep it low for now. Select the aspect ratio, I like 16 by nine, and the camera movement. This is what I love with it a lot. I love the zoom in. You can also choose the evolve, which basically creates it more wild the higher up it goes. And of course, boomerang to play it back and forwards. So let's take that on as well. Now you can generate previews. This costs 15 credits. And as you can see, the beginning is incredible. So let's select this one, damn. I got hungry all of a sudden and these burgers are looking thick. So just click on create video. I'm gonna take a timer. Just be aware that this one is 15 seconds compared to the ones that I did four seconds with runway and three seconds with Pika Labs. Okay, 99%. It's currently been five minutes. As you can see, it creates this more trippy type of style. Now, this is up to your preference, of course. I really like this style and how it generates, especially when it's zooming in. I could make it zoom out so it actually gets the face of the character, but it's literally doing everything perfect in the sense of humanoid robot, you can definitely see that. And holding a plate of burgers, you can definitely see that. Now, I wanna show you how I use it in my videos with the begin with an image. So you can see this is from one of my videos, and as you can see, now I'm turning around and this is from Kyber. Now let me show you how I do that. So I just grab a still frame from this with a screenshot just like this. Then I just drag my image in here, click on continue to prompt. I'm gonna create this prompt here. Let's do steampunk, go to video settings and here is the key. I'm gonna select the duration, I love to do the zoom in and the key is show initial image in the first frame. Click on the 10 evolve and generate previews. We got some crazy previews. Let's try this one and generate. And here is the result. As you can see, I'm actually turning into a building. So that needs some more prompting on my part, but I just love this effect, especially when you get the human correct. Let me show you some other examples. Here you got another one that I really, really like how this one turned out. This one is literally crazy. It's so freaky, but so cool at the same time. So you're now seeing what Kyber is able to do. This one is as easy to use as plug and play. And there's a lot of customization that you aren't able to do in other tools. So this one is an S to me. Number six, neural frames. As you can see, of the picture of the squirrel. It's zooming a little bit out and then the camera is taking a turn like upwards and looking super, super cool. So just click on create videos from text now and then just start a new project. It's asking if you wanna upload a first image or create a new one. So we're just gonna create a new. We're gonna start with Viking man standing in the woods on a sunny day with an ax in his hands. And then I can click on this pimp my prompt. And then it created all of this here. It also has negative prompts here as well, like out of frame, low res text. You can also see that we have this template here that you can have all of these different styles. This helps a lot if you don't know what to write. Obviously prompting is a huge deal. You can also store your prompt and load it from your prompt collection. Now we're just gonna click on render. And here you can see as a free user, we grant you six seconds of rendering time for free and they don't recommend using a mobile phone, better to use it on the site on a computer. So these were the generations that we were able to get. I really like this guy here. So we're gonna click on that and now we end up in some sort of video editor. We can select the flicker style so you can see the example below of the cat. The balanced that goes a little bit faster in the flicker style and the trippy 
that goes like crazy. Then we can also select the movement like none, chill or loco that makes it warp backwards and forwards. Chill is more like inwards. Let's try loco and then just click on render from cursor. You can actually see it's rendering here in the browser frame by frame. So it's zooming in a little bit and it definitely seems like most of it is generated from the initial image and they're not generating multiple different images that warps in that way. So this is the video that it generates. It's definitely smooth and nice. I like the effect. I just think we should try a different prompt here. So let's test out its capabilities with an image. We're gonna take this image, save it, and now we're gonna try upload image or video. It managed to create a prompt right here. And now let's do smooth and let's do loco once again and render from cursor. This is what we were able to get, this cool warp effect that I really like. However, I really wish they had more free for us to use so they can actually get new customers, test it out, but it's for sure a part of your tool arsenal. So this is for somebody that just wants that super smooth, very high quality still image zoom in effect. Otherwise, I would just use the other tools. Kind of falls under the same category as Genmo. However, the quality of the output is way better. So this is a solid B tier. Number seven, Pictory. Pictory is my go-to if I want to turn a long article into a full YouTube video. I've tried others like Lumen5, InVideo, Fleeky, Steve AI, Animaker, and I believe that Pictory is the one that fits best for this purpose. All you need to do is click on get started for free. So for example, if I get ChatGPT to write a full article about traveling to Paris, I can just copy the entire article. And here you can see the different options. They have script to video where you can start typing or just copy paste your script. They have article to video so you can copy and paste an URL. They have edit video using text. I'll show you that in a minute and visuals to video. Here just drag and drop image and video files. Now we're gonna go all the way to the script to video. Then I'm just gonna paste the entire script in here. I'm just gonna format it a little bit better just like this. And now we just click on proceed. As you can see, they have all of these different different templates that you can start with. I'm not such a fan of these background, like black background. So I like to have just white text, just like this subtitle highlight. We're gonna choose 16 by nine for YouTube. And just like that, we have all these scenes that we need in order to create this full video. And my favorite part about this compared to a lot of the other ones is the actual stock footage matches better. Now, as you can see, if it's a little bit too long, you can just click on split scene, just click on a spot and click on split. And just like that, we have three texts that are expanding over one video footage. If you want to change that, you can always click on visuals, search for friends and click on one of these videos. Just like that, we have selected a different video. Now, if you just click on audio, you can go to the voiceover tab. Here you can choose between one of these styles. They are not the highest quality, which is a con of the software. Like just listen to this. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate. As you can hear, it's still the old style of voiceover. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate, which sounds decent, but it's not as good as 11 labs. However, you can always upload your own voiceover here if you have it from 11 labs and easily match the clips together. Every traveler's heart yearns for a journey through Paris, the iconic city of lights. Just like that. And it will keep going through every scene with this voiceover. So this is great for anyone that wants to create faceless video. However, there are some things that I don't like. Like for example, the customization, it should be able to make way cooler intros because that's very important for YouTube. Also, when it comes to the quality of the audio, they should be easily able to integrate with 11 labs, but they haven't. But as I said, after testing a bunch of these tools, this deserves a B tier. Now, which of these softwares are for you? If you want to generate some cool AI generated videos that looks trippy and cool and never seen before, I would recommend Kyber, Runway ML, and the Pika Labs. If you want to turn a full ChatGPT article into a video, 
I recommend Pictory and possibly if they improve a little bit, Visla. If there's any tool I missed, drop it in the comments below. Check out Patreon for exclusive content and click the video on the screen if you want to continue watching my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.